time is it? Mm -hmm. Well, honey? Sunday. I know it's Sunday. You never wind the clock. I wonder if I cash my unemployment. I didn't cash my unemployment. Mm -hmm. Where are my clothes? I'm gonna look in the pockets and see if I've got the check on me. You came back while I was out looking for you and picked the check up and left a note on the bed that I couldn't make out. You couldn't make out the note? Only a telephone number. I called the number, but there was so much noise I couldn't hear. Noise? Here? No. Noise there. Who was there? I don't know. Somebody said come over and hung up and all I got afterwards was a busy signal. When I woke up, I was naked in a bathtub full of melting ice cubes. I called out and went into the parlour and someone was going out the other door as I came in. I went through the door and I heard the door of an elevator shut and I saw the doors of a corridor in a hotel. The TV was on and there was a ripper playing at the same time. And the parlour was filled with rolling tables loaded with stuff from room service. And whole hams, whole turkeys, three decker sandwiches, cold and turning stiff, and, and bottles and bottles and bottles of all kinds of liquors that hadn't even been opened yet, and buckets of ice cubes. Okay. Someone closed the door as I came in. As I came in, someone was going out. I heard the door shut, and I went through the door, and I heard the door of an elevator shut. All across this, the floor of this pad near the river, there was articles, clothing scattered. Bras, panties, shirts, ties, socks, and so forth. Clothes? Yes, and, and all kinds of personal belongings, and broken glass and furniture turned over as if a free-for-all had broken out and the pad had been raided. Oh. Violence must have broken out in the place. You were? In the bathtub, all night. Oh. And I remember picking up the phone to ask what hotel it was. But I don't remember if they told me or not. Can you give me a drink of that water? Now I've recited the litany of my sorrows. What have you got to tell me? Tell me something of what's going on behind me. It's been so long since we've been living together, except like a couple of strangers living together. Let's find each other. Maybe then we won't be lost. Talk to me. I've been lost. What have you often, but I couldn't call you, honey? What have you, but I couldn't call? What, what could I say if I called? Could I say that I'm lost? Pass around like a dirty postcard in the city and then just hang up? City. I've had nothing but water since you left. 
Nothing but instant coffee until it was used up and water. Can you talk to me, honey? Can you talk to me now? Yes. Talk to me like the rain and let me listen. Lie here and listen. It's been so long since we lived with one another. Tell me things. What have you been thinking in the silence? I've been passed around the city like a dirty postcard. Tell me. Talk to me. Talk to me like the rain and I will listen. I will lie I here. want to go away. I want to go away. How? Alone. I register under a made-up name on a little hotel on the coast. What name? Emma Jones. The chambermaid will be a little old lady with the grandson that she talks about. I'll sit in the chair while the old lady makes the bed and my arms will hang over the sides and her voice peace. She'll tell me what her grandson had for supper. A tapioca and cream. The room will be cool, shadowy cool, and filled with the murmur of... Rain. Yes, rain. And... After a while, the little old lady will say, Your bed is made up, miss. And I'll say, Thank you. I take a dollar out of my pocketbook. The door will close. And I'll be alone again. The windows will be tall with long blue shutters. And it will be a season of rain, rain. I'll receive a check in the mail every week that I can count on. The old woman will cash the checks for me and give me books from a library and pick up laundry. I'll always have clean things. I'll dress in white. I'll never be very strong or have much energy left, but have enough after a while to walk along the esplanade, to walk along the beach without effort. In the evenings, I'll walk along the esplanade along the beach. I'll have a certain beach where I go to sit a little way from the pavilion where the band plays Victor Herbert's selections as the gets them. I'll have a big room with shutters on the windows, and it will be a season of rain, rain, rain. I'll be so exhausted from my life in the city that I won't mind just sitting and listening to the rain. I'll be so quiet. I will not be conscious of time passing at all. Then one day, I will look in the mirror and see that my hair has turned white. Absolutely white. As white as the foam on the waves. Then I will realize, I will know, uh, sort of dimly, that I've been living here in this hotel without any uh, social connections, responsibilities, anxieties, or disturbances of any kind for just about 50 years. Half a century. Uh, practically a lifetime. I won't even remember the names of the people I knew before I withdrew from the world, nor how it feels to be someone waiting for someone that may not come home. Then I will know that the time has come for me to walk out once more on the esplanade with the white wind beating on me, the white clean wind that blows from the edge of the world, from even further than that, from the cool outer edges of space, from beyond whatever there is beyond the edges of space. I will walk along the esplanade and I will be blown thinner and 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 thinner until finally I don't have a body at all and the white clean wind picks me up and takes me away forever. Back to bed with me. I want to go away. I want to go away. 